I want to take advantage of the new item Voltaic Cycle Sword, which is one of the strongest early game purchases available. The 100 flat physical damage from its passive in combination with its lethality stat profile is nothing short of amazing. We get the triple armor pen snowballing core with collector and the last whisper item, but then transition into full crit. This should synergize perfectly with my favorite press the attack rune page. The slow from Cycle Sword makes it very easy to get the other two attacks in for your keystone, and the page also works smoothly with late game crit. Definitely a misfortune build you can use for climbing in season 14. And shoutouts to my sponsor, if you really want to climb to high elo this season, you will climb to diamond guaranteed when you take the coaching program in the description. It is the best on the market, so make sure to check it out. Anyway, enjoy the game. Against Samira Leona, we need to be extremely dangerous. Extremely da we need, to of course, we need to be extremely dangerous. We need to be extremely careful because they are extremely dangerous. But Rakan Misfortune, in my opinion, the best combo for Misfortune. Level six all in with these uh, two is insane. So I'm not too worried about the Samira. Let's go. Decent damage. Good engage. Yeah, they didn't respect the level 2. Samira lost her potion already. And she's still at a health deficit. Rakan shouldn't wander off too much, though. I need him. But now they... Oh, I missed both of them. But now they have counter play, for sure. Especially if you're careless under the tower. Ah, I thought I could snipe her with that Q, but the minion moved very unfortunately. Unfortunate does not even begin to describe. Yeah, free pressure, I take it. Gotta keep Samira low. Okay, I wanted to attack Samira, trigger PTA on her instead, but she disengaged too well, so I went for Leona anyway. Don't expect an early Master Yi gank, to be honest, but you never know. This is why you pick Triumph. This is why I love this rune page. <laughs> it just gets stuff done. Not sure how far we can push this. Okay, this should be good enough. I get a massive recall here. That is as well as it's, this lane could have um, could have gone. Yeah. Two kills, massive CS lead. We get all the good stuff here. Brutalizer plus sword. Didn't even need to use my flash. But this is <laughs> this is such a heavy mismatch in terms of items. Double longsword versus brutalizer longsword. It's uh, not even close, if I dare say. Anyway, Rakan roaming mid lane, so I need to keep that in mind. If I now play recklessly, I might just lose my lead. But uh, if I stand under tower, what can they do, really? They can't dive me, I don't think. Not at level 4. Level 6? Yep. But level 4? No chance. So I just calm and... Uh, oh, yeah. Calm and collect it. I'm, I say calm and collect my <laughs> wave. Also staying calm and collected, also very good. Ooh. Yeah. Perfect. Even gave the kill to me. Which I highly appreciate. Oh, she dies. No chance she lives there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No assists for us, but look at the wave she's losing. 
They were crushing them. Keep sniping. Gotta be careful not to mess up here. Okay, he recalls. I don't have mana anymore. But I still have item advantage. And level 6 now. I'd love to just go in. But my team just invades instead, so I guess I just sit back. Yeah, I can't help them. If I go there and they turn, I die, and I'm worth a big shutdown. Okay, I see them now, now I can join. There we go. That was neck breaking. <laughs> Goodness gracious. The poor lads. Get one wave and then I'm happy. Yo, I got a very early Cycle Zord here. And all of this because of Triumph. Had I not picked Triumph, this entire snowball would not have happened. Uh, we lose a plating here, but we need to get the space in. We need to yeah, maintain our tempo advantage. Had I tried to get this plating, I would be in trouble here. Um, let's go like this. Just five more AD. I could have gone longsword plus boots, maybe. But uh, <laughs> I, I want to keep the snowball rolling, and I want my attacks to actually smack them. The 100 flat damage is very strong early game, and then we have so much AD behind it too. Okay, she didn't give me the sword hit. Anyway. Rakan, get him. We just zone them away from minions at this point, don't we? Used my Energized proc. Gotta keep that in mind. Anyway, most important to not miss minions here. We wanna stay strong. Okay. Now we can harass them under tower a little bit. That was one empowered Q. The Cyclozord Q. You better block that, my friend. That would have been half your HP, maybe more. Free crit. <laughs> this, I mean, I'm fed now, but this is outright impressive. They're playing this smart though. They're not trading into me. Not giving me any hits. But we keep pushing, we keep the pressure. Even if the jungler comes, we just kill them, don't we? Yeah, Master Yi is here. The owner has ulti, we need to be careful. I used my Energize hit on the tower this time. I still dealt good damage to Leona. They're looking for it. 1v2. I would prefer Rakan being near me so we can keep applying the pressure, but uh, he decides to roam, so I need to play accordingly. Enemy 
I will stop her base at the last second. Be as annoying as possible. Just fight, brother. Okay. Yeah, Rakan's roam really hurt. Samira gets a free base in. I just get platings for that at least. Now we need to run Master Yeast here too. So Samira just bought items, but I'm still ahead in items, even though I didn't base. Yeah, kind of awkward. We're not really putting our lead to use. Want to deny as much from them as possible. In an ideal world. Okay, let's fight there. I 100% agree. And a stolen blue buff is still a stolen blue buff. Hmm. They're avoiding me like the plague. And she still dies. Alright, let's push this in. And get the tower and then start team fighting. Let's crush them. He should be able to solo this, no problem. 16 to 2. This might just be a surrender 15, unfortunately. Anyway, <clears throat> now we are crazy strong. Ghostblade got cheaper by a lot, actually. Yeah, we can pressure mid lane. Keep our farm high, 10 CS per minute. They would just take all the objectives if they try to avoid fighting, which is correct from them, by the way. But if they keep doing that, you can still take the free stuff and win the game, you know. Samira has a collector. I'm a full item ahead of her. That's wild. Yeah, Samira cannot join. Elsa would 1v1 her. <laughs> Buddy. Didn't even need to do anything, I just stood there. That's the merit that comes with being fed. Can I die? Potentially. So I better back off. Yeah, I back off, get my last whisper. 
This game... I actually low-key want healing reduction for Samira. Because this... I mean, it's 19 to 2, but you still need to plan for the late game should it happen. So, Master Yi, life steal heavy, life steal heavy. Nar would be nice to have Giant Slayer, but I think I go with the anti heal. Yeah, here comes the shutdowns. This is how you can start losing. Why did I even flash? There we go. Nice triple. I don't have lifesteal yet, so I'm feeling kind of vulnerable, but I have red buff, which does protect me a little bit. It gives me HP back. But yeah, the burst damage with energized auto Q auto. Absolutely wild. Okay, let's get my motor reminder. And then take it from there. So yeah, next item, shield bow, I guess. We just need to stay safe. We have all the damage in the world. Get shield bow, get bloodthirster. And then last, we sell boots for infinity edge, I guess. Alright, Samira. You want more? <laughs> what is this? This is not even with the energized proc, because that's consumed on the minion, of course, but... And I'm fed, yeah, but that looked... Disgusting. Alright, let's just move with Rakan. When he catches someone, they can't run away anymore and they will die. Can't we just take their blue buff? Let's kill Ari. Never mind. She's already gone. Um, we could just take Dragon here. Yeah, take the tower. Again, take the free stuff, win the game. Dragon is free, the tower is free. We want both of them. For sure. One auto Q auto against Leona, half her HP. That's the level of feet we're dealing with here. Okay, maybe I just messed up. Yes, I did. Getting caught by Leona ulti. Alright, Leona, <laughs> Leona got the shutdown. Okay, this is terrible for them. A thousand gold goes to the into Leona's pockets. Okay. Get the boots to stay a little bit more mobile. And now we work for more survivability. But yeah, this is insane damage. And again, they didn't really get my shutdown gold because on Leona it doesn't matter. Let's be real. She even has Frozen Heart. I still took half her HP with Auto-Q Auto. Let that sink in for a moment. But yeah, this game is still a complete stomp. I will, I will go for another Cyclozord game after this, so we can see the item in more realistic setting. But first things first, we need to close out this game without anything crazy happening. Disgusting. Absolutely wild. Take everything. Leave nothing. 
Okay. Yeah. We take the towers. And that's an easy game. So... Can we get another kill? Now let's just finish and let's go next. So I brought the MR shard because I was thinking maybe Cassiopeia AP carry. But it's Kale. It's actually Kale. So um, we'll see how that works. Okay. Uh, nice little engage, I suppose. But I'd rather push for level 2, if I'm completely honest. And the MR shard is not too bad, by the way. Janna wants to poke me with her magic damage. Kale also has magic damage in her kit. Probably buys Nash's Tooth. So... Not the worst thing ever. I'll take the Q. But yeah, of course we want to play around our power spike. Also the fact we get two lethality items first makes for very nice synergies with Leona. But for now, let's just try to get our CS. Kale has shorter range than I do right now, so I can bully her a little bit. She doesn't seem like the best bot lane champion, to be honest, but um, maybe it works for them, we'll see. Leona leaves, okay. So, I guess I'll stay, though. It's kind of iffy not to punish Kale at this stage of the game. What is Leona doing? <laughs> um, yeah. So, they will soon notice that I'm alone. And they did, but Kale's not able to punish me properly. Janna lost a lot of health, but yeah, Leona refusing to play the lane might be a problem. And still, she's not returning. She's not even in experience range. Not sure what her plan is, but it looks sketchy. I kind of helped them. We lost lane priority. Maybe I still have to help them. Come on. Don't ditch me. Still have heal. Unlucky. This Leona is on a mission, huh? I tried to snipe the Janna, but ultimately I got us all killed. What a terrible lane phase, and I'll lose this entire wave too. Man. The weirdest Leona roam ever. Gets us hard punished. I it could have played this. I could have just retreated after that kill and collected my farm. I misplayed too, that's for certain. But that was weird. That was so weird. Anyway, let's continue and hopefully now make something happen. Get the wave, get a ward, and wait for Leona's engage. Or just wait for level 6. Our level 6 power spike should be quite brutal. Careful though. Just a little bit of poke under tower, nothing serious. She's leaving again. So 
I just leave two. There's no point standing there one v two. Close to that tower, and all I do there is setting myself up for a gank. Man. Ah, <laughs> oh, Leona, please. Just come back to lane. Gary, come home. What are you doing? We can't. It's two versus three. Alright. It is what it is. We're just we're just giving Kale free scaling. That's literally what it is here. Is she base? Yes, she is. Returns with a bunch of items. Okay, I have ult now, but Leona doesn't, for obvious reasons. Guess I'll just base. It's nothing to do, Leona is not laning with me anyway. This makes me worried. That Kale gets free scaling. <sighs> Let's just hope for the best. One for one so far. Alright. Yeah, I'll just sit under tower if I have to. We'll see what happens. Is she getting that? No. Our jungler comes, Leona stops chasing. Rough. Very rough indeed. Yeah, we should at least get a dragon now. Anyway, now Kale's level 6. The worst part of lane is over for her. Dragon looks good. Yeah, we can still pressure Kale, but she's a ticking time bomb. Alright. Leona still doesn't have ult. She's still level 5. I'll pop my potion now. Might as well. Good ward. Get him. <sighs> Nasty. She didn't land her ultimate either. Nocturne might be coming for round two. Hmm? Don't have the movement speed. Okay, they're basing, so we better push this wave. 
That ultimate looked so perfect, yet no one died. <laughs> that was so rough. Um, plating is too greedy. I won't. Yeah, she can deward. The tower eats the wave. I can get my item. And then we should be fine. Big power spike. Actually. Okay, bring it on. Got the Cyclo Sword. Now we should be able to get some good trades in. Ultimate in three. If I need it. Okay. They're trying to take advantage of the fact I'm 1v2ing. Yeah, this Kale will be getting out of hand very soon. Not getting punished at all. I have to go there. Should have made up my mind faster. This still looks good for us. Okay. Get the tower, or damage on the tower at least. Kale spawns in seven. I wanted that. Okay, looks like he doesn't kill me with ulti. But yeah, let's get this wave in. Good. Yeah, we can recall, get more lethality, and take it from there. So this lane phase is not going at all how I wanted it. I wanted to punish Kale for being weak early, for daring to come to the bot lane with this pick. But in a 1v2, that's of course not possible. Okay, Jenna down. And now I keep 1v1ing against Kale. <laughs> sure. Can I do anything? Maybe I roam as well. I need to I need to make use of my power. I'm very strong right now. Kale is still relatively weak. Yet I'm not allowed to take advantage. Okay, that's something. I'll take the tower now. Perfect. Midland tower advantage, obviously massive. Could base... Echo doesn't need help. Yeah, I, I think I base. Kiana takes this wave for now. And we take the reset. <sighs> but we wasted so much time not getting anything done in the bot lane. Kale is getting concerningly strong. On my way. Still have ults. You can do it.
Maybe I should have ignored the wave. Yeah, I should have ignored the wave, that was my bad. I could have carried this fight, but I didn't realize what was going on. Definitely my bad. I could have I could have s carried this fight incredibly hard. I know I'm repeating myself, but it's ah, I'm very mad with myself right now. Anyway, what do I want? Lord Doms or anti-heal? Neither look too important. So I guess I default to Lord Doms because I'm not buying health. Yeah, Lord Doms probably. Better against Garen and the other enemies will likely also buy HP. There we go. Dealing significant damage. And you couldn't really see the slow against Janna's massive movement speed, but I'm pretty sure it, it made a difference there. Made it easier to capitalize. try. Looks kind of risky, but it's definitely doable. Not quite enough. Guess I'm dead to Garen. Yeah, he's too strong. I tried to kill Nocturne, but it's just I was a little bit of damage off. This Garen is really big. Sundra Sky too. Yeah, yeah. this is... <laughs> he's he's running you down with his Q and then you can't 1v1 him because of Sundra Sky. Damage plus healing for him. Yeah, definitely going Lord Doms and we must not be caught out of position against this monster. This tower is just gone. Can I even stop him? I don't think so. Okay, double kill for our team. Um, if you leave, I'll let Garen take the inhibitor, no problem. We can do that. <laughs> I can't deal with him, there's no chance. Okay, Garen left, fortunately. You gotta collect these, bro. Drake spawning. I have ults. Where are they? Go there, I'm just dead. I need to approach Riven and hope for the best. Not enough.
Echo doesn't live here, he's just dead. Yeah, it's it's hopeless. I didn't have percent armor pen for Garen, which is why he was able to do what he wants. Clean ace. That's rough. It's really rough. It's only the first Drake for them, and they don't they don't take Baron off of this at least. So it could be worse. But yeah, we need to play more carefully. I should have instantly disengaged after the Nocturne ulti, but of course the ult made it hard for me to assess the situation. I mean, who would have thought? <laughs> but yeah, we will be we'll soon be well enough equipped to deal with Garen. Red buff for the team would be nice. Doesn't even matter who gets this, the entire team gets the buff anyway. Bro, we can't stand there while they're bashing in our base. It's not working. They're just taking our towers, no one cares. There we go. After ults on cooldown, what's she gonna do to me? Nothing. Two down. But our towers took so much damage. Baron. I mean, at this point, three down. We have a control ward in the pit. Yeah, let's go. Sure. Our entire team has double buffs. Let's do it. Your jungler respawned. We should be quick. Perfect. All right. Now we're on the right track again. Get this and work towards shield bow. I prefer the lifesteal right now. Not sure if we will go. Yeah, we will go Infinity Edge very last, I think. Or maybe after shield bow. Both are fine, I'd say. But yeah, I want shield bow first. I need some survivability. This Garen is so monstrous. Alright, bot lane is fixed enough. Time to join the team. Looking good. This is why I want shield bow. <laughs> Perfect. There we go. Clean kill. Can we finish? They're still dead. Now they're the spawning. Okay, we could take their towers at least. Or maybe we can keep going. I have ults. Still have Baron buff. Let's just disengage. We tried. <laughs> we tried to do something here, but resetting is definitely the safer way to go. Grab this, upgrade this, get this. Looking good. Alright, I really like the position here. I have three levels, no, two levels on KL now. 
for what it's worth. Get the red buff for the team. Drake spawning. Ideally we just take it. Careful. I'd say we take Dragon before anything crazy happens. We still have red buff and everything. Okay, the team probably finishes now. Ideally. We can't see them, but we just ace them. So, yeah, I guess that's game. Nice! Um, let me know what you think about the build. For more content, click the link on your screen.